<laughs> We're back, baby. Good evening, friends. Good evening, guests. Good evening, citizens of Zigopolis. How is your day treating you today? Boston Bear is here. We found Boston. How we do, Boston? How is everyone today? What is happening? What is the good news, the good word? What is going on in your universe today? Tell me all about it. Uh, do I have anything important to tell any of you beautiful people? Absolutely not. Other than it's just another day in cloudy Zagopolis. Kind of cloudy and humid. Um, we're off to a good start, and I found out how we could adjust the text, which is cool. Problem is the template itself is just, um, I think it's a little too blurry. Even though it seemed like it was a pretty high-res picture. So I'm going to have to, probably have to recrop it. And I might, I really like the original game graphics that, you know, that it's taken from, but I think they kind of don't look good on a um, on any background so here I'll, I'll, I'll show you so check this out uh, let's see let's do the donation one because we don't mess with that and change media all right so here's just here's just the um, the picture this is what so this is without any you know this is just the default text in the default position yeah so we'll just let the music play too all right here we go uh test donation this should go through so that's what that that's what that'll look like <clears throat> so i'm kind of thinking that we should crop it even more so it's mostly just the text because that's the only part i really care about What would be really cool is if we could somehow make a GIF from when it happens in the game because the text really pops out like it looks really neat. Let me see if I can find a, a video of it on YouTube really quick. It looks good, yeah. Right. Fast forwarding through the first part of the game, so we can so you can see what it looks like when it actually happens in the game. Have you ever played Ikaru Go Boston? It's an amazing game. Probably the best vertical shooter ever made. There we go. There it is. I used to be the one. I used to be your getaway. So what I would do is I would I would um, not I even heard of it. Okay, it's a pretty old game. It originally came out on, on um, uh, Dreamcast, so it's pretty old. All right, let's here. Let me show you this thing. It's pretty cool. Volume might be a little loud, but let's uh, let's just give it a look. It should pop right up. Oh, way too loud. My bad. That's what I want it to look like. I want it to look exactly like that. It just looks so cool. I already have the sound for the klaxon. So I'll just gonna let this play again. So how could we get that for the stream? I think that would be so badass. I've been wanting that for a while. Uh, let's put up the chatting screen. What do you think? Right? Isn't that cool? I think that's so cool. There's got to be a way we could do it. Like a screen capture kind of thing. And then, you know, like basically cut a really short video and turn that into a GIF. I think that's that might work.
Image loop could do it. Yeah, actually, that'd be that would work really well too. So if we if we had it, if we had if we had it as a video, then you can turn it into a GIF, right? And then we could put text either above or below or to the side of it. And then um, I found out how you can actually adjust the image or the t the text position on the alert. So you would just put the name of the person covering that part I want. Excuse me. So you wouldn't actually edit the actual image in that way. But Project. We like projects. Something to do. I have absolutely nothing to do at work t tomorrow, so maybe that would be something that I work on a little bit. Experimenting, yeah, definitely, absolutely. That's fine. We don't mind. We got we got nothing but time. Alrighty, shall we get get started here? Should we just get in here and see what's up? I think we're ready. Alrighty, Cordal Mombat. Let's take a look and see what kind of towers are up so we can get warmed up because I definitely need to. We've been playing, um, been playing MK11 Boston, <clears throat> getting your MK on. Uh, I, I haven't really touched her since the other night. We could do that tonight, we could go in the lab a little bit and practice, it'd be fun. I think you should, considering every second not involving an up punch on some fool only lessons. Johnny's income, it's true. Dan is here, my mentor. Lord Dark Dan, how we doing, brother? Good to see you. What's shaking? 260 away from Grandmaster. Noise. I think, where are we? Are we a Grandmaster? I think we are. Braden. Bleh. Whoa. Oh, you know, they're Kano Towers, but either way, it kind of gets my fingers warmed up, so we might as well. Kano. I realize it's kind of blasphemy, but I want to work on Kano's Tower, so. Crying in, we're from spending cash on stuff needed you. <laughs> I'm just chilling, doing a little, uh, doing a little drinking, playing some Court of Mombat. We just started, so your timing is perfect. What were, what were the necessary items that you had to spend money on? Combat card is cool. Nice. Yeah, I don't think I even saw it. Ouchie. Hey. Round Which tower? The one I'm doing right now? Oops. Hmm. I'm getting better with the uh, Kano's command grab. I still, still have a long way to go, but definitely better than I was. Oh, 100 hours? Oh, okay. Sliding patio door was clouded up from previous owners. Now the door itself no longer works. The entire thing needs to be replaced coming over. Oh, 1K. Oh, for a fucking door. That sucks. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Isn't it, a, isn't it fun, the, the, the cool things that we get to spend money on as we get older? Isn't that great? You start kicking ass, you're saving all this money, and then it's like, boom! Thousand dollars. For what? Like, dentistry? Because that would probably be worth it. No, a door. What?
Uh, yeah, I think I think we hit Grandmaster, yeah. Like, multiple times in one night. <laughs> Why is that not doing what I want it to do? Wow. Considering else front cost two or three. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. Round Still, though, 1k. Ugh. Yep, only Johnny. Thank you. I should need to do fatalities on Citrion or Everhead. Two star and three kingdoms still. Well, the nice thing is, you know, MK is not going anywhere. So, did you uh, did you have a chance to watch CEO the last uh, c couple of days of CEO? It was amazing. Fucking combat played Johnny. It was so amazing to see him play pro level. Oh my god, it was so good. It's fucking inspired. He did really good too. He made it to. Round one. They, he made it to day three. Didn't watch any? Oh man, you're missing out. It was really good. I mean, I don't want to say that you should feel bad for not watching it, but you should feel bad for not watching it. I mean, uh, wait. Ah, now I feel really bad for saying that after you <laughs> made that comment. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm a terrible person. Go dancing, Raiden. Fatality. Yeah, the only problem with um, Combat League right now is fucking everyone is playing Scorpion, and it gets so exhausting. Make in fact, that punch me more. As well, you should, friend. As well, you should. I would expect nothing less of you. Who knows, maybe I'm into that. You don't know. You don't know me. <laughs> Still doesn't look like monsters. <laughs> so Shiggy, I hi by the way. Um I got the uh, Iceborne beta and I, I played it a little bit. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest. It, it, it's very pretty. Large, pretty. I don't know if it's the game for me. I kind of feel bad when I'm killing the monsters. <laughs> as weird as it sounds. Like when you beat the shit out of them, they're all limping away to safety and stuff. I'm like, oh, monster. I'm sorry. I feel bad. Especially if they're like cute, like kind of cute ones, like, you know, not man-eating dragons and shit. Like the the second uh, monster that you, you go hunting in the beta is, um, it's like this giant, like, ram mixed with a bear, you know, kind of thing. It's really cool looking. It's like, why am I killing this thing? Fit at you several times before you threw stuff at you. There's no mercy. <laughs> okay. Finisher. 
Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. And I still, you know, I still just don't really care for the Monster Hunter move, the movement system. I just don't really like it. Fatality. But what's the deal with the, um, with the Iceborne or whatever the expansion is? Is it, do you have to level up your guy all the way through the normal game first before you can play the expansion? Or can you just jump right into it? <laughs> you shall bear me. <laughs> Ooh, look at all these little treasures. Oh, okay. You might be able to just jump right into it, huh? That's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. What are, what is this? Oh, that's right. These are America things because it's America's birthday in two days. Awesome. Let's be good. Good Johnny warm up. Merku, oh, fuck yeah. The Dean saved the motherfucking Dean of America, fuck yeah. Round one, fight. Oh my god, fireworks, this is awesome. <laughs> That's amazing. Oops. Why is my defensive meter not working? That's kind of weird. Treason day, how dare you. You shut it. Oh, we only have to win one time? I didn't realize that. I gotta quit fucking around. Let's just bang this out. It's kind of hard getting fireworked in my balls every couple of minutes, Round but... One. That's right. I gotta, I gotta do more of the, um... The combat thing that he does. Like, when he gets his stuff blocked, he does amped force balls to give plus frames and whatnot. It's pretty cool. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really? Look at that damage. That's insane. <laughs> Holy crap. This is kind of silly. And duck! You duck! Man. Duck man. Round one. Wouldn't that be a good uh, comic book character? I am duck man. Oh god. It's happening. I can't. I can't. If you get hit by the first one, you can't duck. And you... Why is my up three not working? What is going on? Okay, I think we're going to need to use some consumables for this. That was awkward. Johnny Cage. Johnny the Cage. I'll just use that one. Oh, it's fire. I wonder if we have a fire defense consumable. Probably do. Round two. Yeah, that's hard to do. Overheads are really hard in this game. Oh, 
Johnny has an overhead? <laughs> yeah. What in the hell is with this computer, man? <laughs> Get down! When's MK gonna have an OP British character with a top hat? Hopefully soon. Fight. Trying to shore up? Yeah. Oh, there it is. There's the overhead. Oh, <laughs> good timing. Computer literally read my inputs. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. <laughs> wow, this is hard. What in the hell? Computer read my inputs both times on Shadow Kick. <laughs> Fucking asshole. that. Oh my god, what is this game? <laughs> this is embarrassing. Should have just gone for it. Round one. Damn input Fight. reading jerks. Of course. Oh, and it drains your meter. I didn't realize that. Rude what you just did, Jackie. Cut, reset. Deadly uppercut, take two. Action. Cut. Who hired this guy? What the fuck? Deadly uppercut, take 19. Fatality. Johnny Cage wins. Brutal difficulty. Woo! Upgraded military boots. Nice. Useful to have. Firecrackers. Keep the party going. I know. When is Agent Smith? I agree. I think it's kind of horseshit that we don't have it yet. Who's a, um... Oh, somebody um, posted on uh, MK11 Reddit a picture of Lo Pan from Big Trouble in Little China. If they didn't, you know, if they're not going to put them in as characters, they literally could do every character from that movie as skins in this game, and it would be perfect. Holy shit. Like, the Jack Burton skin would be Johnny Cage, right? And the Shang Tsung skin would be Lo Pan. Oh my god, it would be so amazing.
treason day. You watch it. You watch your mouth, sir. I'm talking about motherfucking America's birthday. Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah, it, it was treason day, yes, but kind of feel like the way Shiggy's saying it is sort of like as a negative, you know, and that's not cool. It's a really good day. <laughs> America, fuck yeah. So we used to, um, like, is it, you know, the city, the city I work with, working in Japan, I work with a whole bunch of other Americans, you know, do the same job as me. And so what we used to do, um, like our first year that we were here, like 10 years ago, we were like, okay, well, it's the 4th of July. What the hell do we do on 4th of July? Like, you know, we can't do any of our usual stuff. Like none of us lives in a house. We can't have a barbecue. Can't do fireworks. We can't do any of that. What the hell do we do? And somebody was like, what's the most American place that you can think of you know, even if it's like deep in the city, it would take us like an hour and a half to get there or two hours or something. And we all thought about it and we go, well, there's a TGI Fridays in Tokyo. And it was like, TGI Fridays in Tokyo, America, fuck yeah. So we went to TGI Fridays because it was the only American place and still is the only American place. <laughs> To be fair, being able to get a TGI Friday's, you know, hamburger and rack of ribs and some french fries and some shitty ass American food every once in a while is pretty great. This this is amazing. <laughs> this tower is incredible. I love it. Take two. Action. Cut. Who hired this guy? What, what the, the fuck? Deadly uppercut. Take nineteen. Uh, Fatality. Johnny Cage wins. Goddamn Jacks players. That was the computer, though. I am upset that Johnny doesn't get. I don't think he gets an America skin. Like, what the what the hell were they they thinking? Oh, well, I guess the these four are members of the service, you know, the armed services. So I guess that makes sense. But isn't well, isn't Johnny kind of too? Johnny Cage. They better give Johnny a Fourth uh, of July skin next year. That's right. These four are the members of the armed services, so that's cool. I can I can dig it. But really, they couldn't throw in Johnny too. <laughs> Mm, hello there. Oh god. Aaron Black gets a USA hat. Enjoy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa, I'm fast. I'm literally so fast, I, I can't do the inputs fast enough to do his combo. <laughs> That's crazy. Woo! I just tried, um, I only just tried Switch Axe, which is cool. I liked it. It's kind of slow, though. Because, like, I mean, I've played Monster Hunter games before. I own a couple, a couple of the older ones, to be fair. I always played the Greatsword. If I actually played it seriously, I'd probably do Switch Axe. That's a cool weapon, but...
It was really impressive, the graphics on PS4, like regular PS4. It was really, really good looking. It was really pretty. It was ridiculously good looking. Did it. Nice. I want you! Oh my god. Oh my god, Uncle Sam. Good call. Boston, that's awesome. Yes. Alright, we have to change this. It's so awesome. MK11's combo base to try charge blade. There you go. That's a good idea. Can I still play the beta? Is it still active? All right, backgrounds. Where's the I want you? That is so good. Oh my god. Okay, I want you, but I want it with Johnny. That's what. That's how. That's how it's got to be. That's how we got to do. Let's see which one should we do? This could be fun. <laughs> Pow! <laughs> that's pretty good. Cause Sony money. Aw, that's too bad. Oh, here we go. That's pretty good. Oh, it covers it up though. That one's pretty good. Dude, why can't it be on the other side? It blocks it. Where's the fun in that? There we go. That's perfect. It still blocks it, but we get it. Oh, I know. Don't don't you worry. It's Johnny or nothing. You know the deal. Yeah, I literally just unlocked him. Ugh. God. Let's see, where are we at? Oh, we were at Grandmaster. I think we got deranked because we didn't play for two days, which is really fucking obnoxious, by the way. So, yeah, let me think. Was, yesterday was Monday, and I didn't play then. I thought I played a couple of games on Sunday, because I swear to God I was Grandmaster when we logged out, but oh well. Be ready for a thousand scorpions. Mike, what up? Did our praising to Solaire fix your internet? Come on. Schwag. Noise. He's feeling better. It does. I'm British, so not like I have any right to say stuff like that anyway, but meh. <laughs> Johnny Cage. Just in time. Yes, you are, my friend. Yeah, we were just getting warmed up. We were doing Sub some towers. Zero. Scrub Zero. I've been seeing a lot of them in uh, Combat League too, just because he's such such a safe pick. But I would rather I would rather fight against Sub Zero, despite how annoying he is. I would rather fight against Sub Zero than fight against fucking Scorpion every goddamn match. I'm so sick of it. They should do like a 24 hour ban on scorpion picks. That'd be fun. Alright, which one is this? Oops, threw him out. Meant to do forward. I screwed up. I only need one take. Round they turn around and ban Johnny. They would never. He burned it. That's funny. Got a little panic roll out of him. How about a microphone down your throat? Got him. 
Johnny Cage. That's right. Johnny Cage wins. Woo! Okay, do you think he's going to pick Scorpion or Garrus? I'm going to go... I'm going to go with Scorpion. Because it's our first guess of the night. I'm going to guess he's going to go Scorpion. Sonya Blade. Oh, that would have been a pretty good guess, too. Black Except for no one plays Sonya anymore. At least not in this region. It's really weird. Stand down. Literally everyone is playing... Scorpion and Sub Zero, the occasional Liu Kang. We actually see a decent number of Liu Kangs. Yeah. Still, t oh yeah, no, 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 no. fucking top tier, I know. Really? Liu Kang main. Liu Kang's so good. Do you see him at CEO? Like the um, who was it? I can't remember who was playing him at CEO, but he was so good, dude. Liu Kang is so solid. Round two, fight. I'm the chosen one. I love that. Family violence. <laughs> yeah. I should have expected that, for sure. Wow. Oops, I meant to cancel. <laughs> Ninja Killer. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's really good. Boop. Puppets. Puppet. Uh, what's for dinner? Spaghetti or ramen? Man, I'm really torn. Splat. Fatality. Johnny Cage wins. Spaghetti or ramen? <laughs> but you're okay with Liu Kang? Noise. Liu Kang's just a really, really solid choice. His kid is good. It's it's got some variety. It's versatile. I would I would also like I don't know. I, I would definitely recommend Liu Kang to beginner players as well. Yeah, watching Ninja Killer play him and, and the pro scene was awesome. I did not expect... Um, God, we're literally one point away from Grandmaster. That's so funny. Did not expect anyone to do that. Johnny versus Lou. So you should watch... Um, well, somebody linked it, actually. Hang on. It's in the Discord. Best Daggers, yeah. Hang on, let me get a link to the in the Discord. Dude, you'll get there. You'll get Grandmaster. Oh god. Shit. Hang on. Oh my god. It's on my other monitor. Why is it on my other monitor? Why do you do this? Okay, just stop. Shut up. Hang on. It's over here now. Okay. Hang on a sec. I got a link for you in just a second here. Johnny Cage. Black Dragon Fight Club. So this is the. This is the best, it's combat, and he's the best Johnny Cage player in the world. And this, you guys should definitely check this out. We might have to watch it on stream later, too. We'll Round see. One, fight. Okay. 
Oop, whipped it. And Ryugrim, thank you so much. Welcome to Zagopolis. We're kind of just still getting warmed up, but... Hope. Oh. What? Uh, this guy's interesting the way he plays. You gotta get warmed up. Wow, and he got a, we gave him a flawless. That's not good. That's incredibly not good. <laughs> All right. Round one. Fight. Give us a hug. Yeah, MK2. Yep. Yes, they are. How we doing, Ryugrim? Round two, fight. Yeah, should have expected that. Really? 342 for that bullshit. Don't you love it? Right ear hurts. Oh, that's, I'm sorry to hear that. I gotta collect heads. Although I think I might have all the sub zeros already. I don't know. Reset. Deadly uppercut, take two. Action. Cut. Who hired this guy? What the fuck? Deadly uppercut, take nineteen. Fatality. All right. Johnny Cage wins. All right, one to one. Think he's gonna change to Scorpion? <laughs> nope. All right, he didn't do it. His Sub Zero is good, so no reason to change. Round one. I think he'll open with his slide again. Nope. Scorpion's the main guy. Yeah. What? You play a main scorpion. Yep, I had a feeling you might do that. Ah, damn it. So close. Should have expected that. Round two. Crap. Fight. Wow. The frames on that are rough.
Yep. Jesus. So sick of that slide, man. <sighs> Is there any way to... There... You block high... So you have to block high on the axes. Does he have a follow-up to that if it isn't the slide? Should you just always block low? You should always block low after the axes, right? But God, it comes out so fucking fast if he amps it. Ugh. I do not like that. That is not a good time. No bueno. Is a kick. Okay. Punishable. Okay. Well, I'm just wondering, like... Not just the slide. Okay. It just kind of felt like... Because I, like, I've played against that combo so many times. Like, you have to, you have to dodge high. You dodge low, and then you dodge high, right? Because he does the kick, followed by the axes. Right? And then, if he slides, you have to be blocking low. So you'd have to go low, high, low. But then he has another one that he could do... Low, high, high? Maybe? Or an overhead? I'm not sure. My head hurts. My day is good, Ryu. Thank you for asking. Pretty good. Just another Tuesday. Nothing special here. I'm just playing some video games with some fine people. I'm trying to get to Grandmaster for like the sixth time. Ooh, double rank up. Cool. Hit the X button, buddy. There we go. He did it. Johnny Cage. Oh, new player. Okay. Right on. We don't see any anymore. All the new players switched over to Scorpion. Fist charged up. All empty. Yeah, it's, yeah. No, that is what I meant. Yes. Wow. Gotcha. I have a trophy in your chest. Hello, sexy. Hello, sexy. Round two. One thing them noob cyball players love is their uppercut. Yep, you can bait it out almost every time if they're a somewhat amateur player. Finish him. Let's make a puppet. Get stuck yeah. in for some time after, like Kano knives. I totally agree. <laughs> I totally agree. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Fatality. Johnny Cage wins. Good games. Yeah, switch. I know, right? Switching Baraka. Yeah, it's too bad. He's the combat is the only person that plays Johnny at pro level too. Late on that. 
but okay. Yeehaw. Biggest roster in the community. Yeah, he, he really does. Oh, he plays Raiden too? I didn't know that. Yeah, combat can play anything. It's incredible. Give Sonic Fox a couple a couple more like months and he'll just he'll literally be able to play everybody. Oop. Why isn't I hate it when my up three doesn't work? It's really annoying. Coming up, Rakat. Yep. Finish him. Got a jetpack. How we doing? This noob never learns. Indeed. <laughs> How we doing, Cat a jetpack? Good to see you. What's happening in your universe? Doing fine, thanks. Told you, amateur new players are completely relying on their D2. And they're down one, too. Their down one's actually pretty good, too. It's pretty quick. But... Hey, look, we hit Grandmaster for like the seventh time. Aren't you guys all excited? <laughs> and watch, the next fight we get will be against a fellow Grandmaster that plays Scorpion. Just watch. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Almost guaranteed. This is seriously like the seventh time we've hit Grandmaster. Of not Scorp Garrus or Sonya. Like I said before, seriously, no one, hardly anyone plays Garrus. Well, hardly anyone plays Sonya in Asia. There are a couple of Garrus players. There used to be a lot. Nope. <coughs> wow, look at this asshole. Forget it. God. Literally coughing into your microphone. What the fuck is wrong with you? Jeez. I hate people. By people, I mean everyone. I hate everyone that isn't a part of Zagopolis and Waifu. <laughs> Basically. Jeez. No. That guy's a lot of games played. 108, 109. Part of the strat distraction technique. I wouldn't be surprised if some people actually honestly do utilize that as a potential strategy. Those people are terrible, and I dislike them strongly. All right, let's get a let's get a decent connection, please. That is not a decent connection. God, the grind of demigod is brutal. You get do not get very many points for a win, and you sure get a lot lot taken away for losing. That's pretty rough. Hello there, Donut. How we doing? Good to see you. What's shaking? What's new in your universe? Remember some sick scumbag claiming to use lack of hygiene to distract the players set with local tournaments is sickening. I feel like I kind of saw that. I read about that too. What an asshole. Johnny Cage. 
Oh boy. Crap. I'm out of practice against Aaron. This is this is gonna be bad. It's not unwinnable. I'm also noticing some lag. This is not ideal. Fifty fifty dice, yup. I think maybe I should jump a lot. Page sixty two jump round one. <laughs> Not a scorpion. Prophecy was wrong. Yeah. Oh, it's so laggy. Why? Yeah, I'll stand in your stupid stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't care. Long hair, don't care, as they say. All right, the eight, eight million hit combo. Yeah, the lag. This is unbelievable. Not my contract. <laughs> Next slide, please. <laughs> I'm just going to keep you in the corner if possible. Okay, he's not in the corner anymore, though. Hey, hey, hey. I said the corner. Really? On wake up? That's kind of stupid. Do you think this Aaron Black is having as much fun as we are? Lag is not in Johnny's contract, yeah. <laughs> First time I got streamed from Johnny's play difference now is so noticeable. Should be pleased with stuff. Hey, thanks, Dan. Thanks a lot. I appreciate that. Honestly, the vast majority of my improvements were the tips and advice he gave me about how to play, dude. So thank you. Thank you very much. Too bad we're not playing games, you know, with, you know, good connections. Yep, completely drop combo. Isn't this amazing? Are we having fun? Oh, ah, ah, he had meter. I didn't realize he had meter. <laughs> Shit. Who? Oh. Microphone. Microphone. Big chunk sees the update drop. Yeah, I'm definitely going to play. That's a wrap. Don't know if I'll play on stream. I might. Connection indicates might be playing from a from the 1800s. Yeah. <laughs> Matrix Mortal Kombat. I know Kung Fu. For the last time. No, you don't. Just disconnect, bro. Take the quitality. You're not gonna beat me. Just leave, please. Oh my god. All right, here we go. Yep, I forgot right up my butt.
happens. What happens when you try and download, you know, inappropriate things from the internet while playing an online game? Yeah, me too. Round yeah, kind of surprised. Fight. Here's the distance. Oh, he didn't do it. I thought he would do it. Oh, I was kind of hoping for a flawless, but that's okay. Hey, boss, it was great to see you, my friend, and thanks for uh, thanks for the good ideas about that um, alert that we're going to work on. It was great tips, man. You have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. <laughs> Beautiful. And this is where he pulls the plug. Ninja Mime was awesome! Yeah, I rocked it. It really tore me up. Fatality. I love the um the Chronica voice pack for this game. It sounds so good. I don't know who the actress is that does Chronica, but man, she's awesome. It's freaking solid. Be right back, guys. I'm gonna grab a beer really quick. Game session no longer available. What a dick. Be right back. All right, we're back. And we're back to Grandmaster again. <laughs> or are we still Grandmaster? I don't know. I guess we're still Grandmaster. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember him, yeah. Nebesis. Who is it? I didn't see it. Ah, it's Dummy Children. Nice. That's right. Yeah, I remember looking that up. I thought that was so cool. What is the actor's name again? I can't remember. Oh my goodness, Donut, you did, he did it, everyone, ladies and gentlemen, Donut, subscribe, thank you so much, Donut, thank you so much for your support, and just being here, and your friendship, and just everything, man, thank you so much for that, you're awesome, thank you so much, thanks for making Zygopolis an even brighter and more glorious place, thank you, my friend. Thank you so much for that support. Round one, fight. Enjoy your one uh, emote. Because <laughs> that's all I can give you guys. <laughs> Crap. There you go. Look your praise emote. I made that one myself, too. You know, it may be kind of simple, but I think it still looks good. Ah, 
Ah, always with the overhead. Yeah, he's got it. They, um, it's kind of cool for affiliate stuff because I got enough, um, enough of you amazing people decided to hang out in Zagopolis, so they actually unlocked a, um, another subscriber, uh, tier, which is pretty cool. For, uh, badges. <laughs> Look at my emote! Looks pretty good! Ah, that overhead gets me every time. I really need to... I need to just practice against the Sub-Zero players for a while. I really like the Nemesis system in this game. It's so cool. And I'm not going to lie down it. That uh, big old Z next to your name looks pretty good. Really brings out the color of your eyes. <laughs> Round one, fight. Zero man, he's so good. Round two, fight. That's all she wrote. Damn. Yeah, I saw I saw you and Crystal is just talking about Kung Lao strats and stuff. That's awesome. Fatality. That's really cool. I'm glad you're having so much fun with him. He's so good. Dude, watching Foxy Grandpa play him in CEO was amazing. Doing that pro level Kung Lao. Shit is hot. One four out of five of my daily. Nice. How are his inputs and his buttons? Are they pretty good? It's like the one thing keeping me from playing Shang Tsung is that the his he has so many like weird directional inputs he has to do on his combos and I can't stand that. Cassie's got that too. I don't like it. Is this weird comparatively? Like Johnny's combos are actually pretty easy to do. New laboratory from Kale is so cool. Oh, I didn't see it. I didn't see it yet. I haven't unlocked it yet. Got to connect to another one fatal blow or whatever. Wait, hang on. What's this? Wait, what's this other one I'm missing here? Gotta do ten fatal blows. We need one more. Oh, season one challenge rewards. Hey, look at that. Time crystals. Oh, ranked daily challenges. Where the hell is that? No. Oh, daily challenge. Complete five combat league sets. Oh, duh. Oh my god. Okay, and I'm literally leaving. Why am I leaving? <laughs> Sorry. So connect a fatal blow. Yeah. Two one two one two combos easier to do on a fight stick. Huh. Does it have really short like input timing? Johnny has one combo like that that I hate because it's just too hard to do. See my little baby. Ugh. No, oh, it's Booty Hole Bandit. I'm excited to see him. 
Shit, I have to play this person. Sorry, guys. You're gonna have to listen to somebody jabbering on their microphone. Sorry. Johnny Cage. Hidden cursor. Ooh, big man. Shang Tsung's island ruins. Oh, thanks, Mike. Very easy when you use your index. Index and middle finger instead of moving your thumb back and forth. Huh, okay. That's interesting. That makes sense for a lot of stuff. Sparkport and Storm Cell. Spark Baraka? No, Raiden. Must be Raiden. Yep. Round one. Why is my fucking nut punch not going off? I don't get it. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. Keep trying to jump out. Round two. Duck under the third hit of the electric and punish. Oh, really? Okay. Nice. Block first two and release. Okay. Got him. Johnny Cage wins. Hey, welcome. You suck dick. Hey, that's Johnny Cage. You fucking narcissistic ass bitch. Wow. Narcissistic ass bitch. He's sad. Narcissistic ass. He's he's very sad. Johnny Cage, bitch. You might as well be a female. You're so fucking gay. <laughs> so many dicks is like a goddamn fucking hot dog truck. He's uh he's very upset. You got me. Play dirty, I'll try. I'd rather just win. You will share Shinnok's fate. Round two, fight.
These elder nuts can take this. <laughs> That I'd throw a little tea bag in there for him. Cut. Read that. Deadly uppercut, take two. <laughs> 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 Who hired this guy? What the fuck? Deadly uppercut, take 19. Uh, Fatality. Johnny Cage wins. <sighs> Sorry, dick faggot. Fuck you, punk. Should we report him for that kind of terrible hate speech? I think maybe that might be good. Because we have it on stream. <laughs> ha Can we report on console? Does anybody know? I'm sorry that you guys had to hear that on stream. That's unfortunate. We all know how much Zig feels about that kind of language. I don't like it one bit. Not a fan. But let's see. Report via profile. Nice. Okay. So let's see. Well, I'll write his name. Why don't we write his name down and we can do it later? Was it Booty Hole Bandit? What was the number? Was it 32? Something like that. We can look back and report it later. <sighs> yeah, I mean, be salty by all means, but come on. Jeez, that's just horrible. From the West Side Yacht Club. <laughs> That felt good to win that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of fine if we lose all of our matches for the rest of the night. <laughs> all these flavors in the world that he chose to be salty. <laughs> That's inspired. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> That's Donut, you're on fire today. Coming up with them good phrases. The problem. The problem is your internet connection, my friend. Ha! Excuse me. It's funny... Having a whole bunch of delicious curry followed by some beers for dinner is um, makes one sort of gassy. Who knew? <laughs> oh, it's Whitehawk! Nice. Yes. We like we like we like Whitehawk. See if he's on. Wait, how did we? Uh, we'll do it later. White Hawk and I really have a really good back and forth, and he's he's a he's a wholesome player. See, yo. <laughs> hey yo. Well, that was the the Kano player. I didn't see what his rank was. Yeah, we're we're definitely we're Johnny Johnny and Kano bros. We have a we have a good solid internet bromance going on.
I love Kano's things that he says, like when he gets uppercuts and throws and stuff. Love a brawl. My favorite one is on your bike. <laughs> I'm like, what? What bike? I don't. I don't have a bike, but okay. I know, it's so good, right? I love the Australian accent. Scottish accent is dope too. I tell you, oh, there it is, he said it. On your bike. <laughs> love it. Shit. All right, he's not falling for it. Like, I, I swear to God, half of the things that Kano says, they're just made up. Like, but there's no way that I would know, because I've never been to Australia, and I don't know anything about Australian slang. Like, is Drongo a real word? <laughs> I've never seen that Kano brutality before. That was dope. That's so good. And like his move, his counter move, rack off. I don't know what, what does that mean? What does rack off mean? Great Kano article. Nice. Teach you a ton about Australia. Oh, nice. Okay, that looks awesome. No, he's not falling for it. No, 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 no. No, 
Oh, I knew he was gonna do it too. Damn it. Oh, well played, my age. Jeez, bro. Kano is savage. Damn, every match of these intense. Aw, that's so nice. That's so nice. I love wholesome exchanges between fellow fighters. It's just nice. It's like the counterpoint to that asshole that we played earlier, earlier that used the uh, F-A-G-G-O-T word, you know? Okay, this is amazing. This uh, Kano article. <laughs> Look, he's, he's eating cereal. Why is he eating cereal? <laughs> oh, man. I can't read to... I can't wait to read this whole thing, Mike. This is amazing. Thank you. Gold Richard. All right, we've played this person before, too. I didn't see. What did he say? Amazing space control. I feel like I'm really screwed if I end up there. <laughs> Johnny Cage. Shao Kahn. Ah, that's right. Gold Richard Chimley Shao Kahn. I forgot. Like the word, like, what is a drongo? Do we have, anyone got an Australian dictionary handy? Round one, fight. That's right, I have to play very different for this, this person, because their Shao Kahn is really good. We also have to play in the neutral because any jump attack will get down to so hard. Idiot or stupid person. Thank you. I mean, I, I sort of guessed, but you know, maybe it maybe it meant something else, like um, really, really great movie star who I respect and love very much. Maybe that's what it actually means. <laughs> It's in the article? Okay, awesome. I can't wait to read it. Maybe we should read it on stream. That'd be kind of fun. Is it really long? God, even turning around. Even turning around, he still gets it down, too. Damn, the range on that. Not long. Worth it. All right, cool. We'll read it on stream. That'll be fun. He's going to throw. Yep. Press the wrong button. I will end this okay, it kind of looked like he moonwalked there. Anyone Final else see that? Fight. Moonwalk and chow. Remind me to message Gold Richard when we're done. No matter no matter who wins, we gotta we gotta encourage Shao Kahn players. This is really great. Blockable. Ah. Oh. Yep. Yep. He's never fallen for that, and he never will. Oh God, we might throw it. No oh, shit. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Ah. Oh, well played. So, wow, that was literally as close as it gets.
Yeah, let's definitely let's definitely read that article about Kano if it's not too long. I think that'd be fun. Okay, he's letting me charge this up every time, so I'm gonna keep doing it. Somebody call the bad habit police. Hmm. Coming down from a jump, huh? What's he gonna do? Wake up, you think, or down two? Oh, both. <laughs> wow, I didn't know you could do that. That's pretty cool. I only need one. Round two, fight. Wow. Yeah, Golden Richards is a really good child player. It's awesome. Let's get charged up. Ouchie. So close. Hey. Shit. Really? Come on. I don't know. I don't know about that. I'm blockable. <laughs> the fake out actually worked. Look at that. Final round fight. Okay, let's get charged up. Ok, 
Okay, he's fallen for the step back a lot, so I think we're just gonna keep keep trying that. Charge it up. One more and we're good. Wow. What a rush. Gold underscore Richard. Let's see. Let's see if he's willing to be chatted with. Whew. Oh my god, that was that was a rush. The cap does capitalization matter? There he is. I assume that's him. How do we how do we how do we do the thing? Let me just oh there we go. Much respect. To Chow on player. GG. Friend. We're going to try and build a wholesome Mortal Kombat community. That's what we're going to try and do. Hopefully he doesn't have a um, unhappy response to that. Some people might, but frontality. You <laughs> know, yes. <laughs> right back, guys. We grab another beverage. Use the ladies' room. Don't go anywhere. We're gonna keep going. We're. Uh, I'm feeling good. Let's keep it. Keep it rolling. Don't go anywhere. Uh, give me like a minute. Okay. Be right back. But I will put up the BRB screen. BRB. Alright, we're back. Except your PSN profile pic turns every message into an extremely passive aggressive mark. <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> that's very true. And he didn't write back, so. <laughs> um, should we read this little article? Let's uh, let's do that. This wonderful little article that uh, our good friend Mike got for us here. Let's get this going, huh? Uh, let's see. Here we go. Is this, is this coming up okay? Let me make sure it's... Oh, no. I don't want it on that one. I want it on this one. Why is it not on that one? I don't get it. I don't want to look at that. It's not what I want to look at. Oh, okay. It's different. Okay. Okay. I know what to do. Nobody, nobody, nobody panic. It's all right. There we go. Let's try this. There we go. Okay. Over 50 and still a ripper. When I first saw Kano's Mortal Kombat 1, I hated him. I bloody hated him. He had bullshit knife projectile and more bullshit cannonball. He didn't get any better. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'll tell you what. Let's let's look at the uh, the dictionary. The quintessential Australian tourist experience. 
a cultural glossary. Okay, here we go. Gano's primary weapons of choice are signature knives. And the obvious connection you might still be drawing here is the well-weathered crocodile Dundee quote. That's not a knife. <laughs> There's a more modern line to be drawn. Australia's strict gun laws. Sure. It's incredibly difficult to own any kind of firearm in this country unless you have a very good and specific reason. Kano doesn't have the luxury of bringing firearms into a fighting tournament like literally all the American fighters, so he decided to get really good with whatever he could obtain from shops. All the guns he provided the Tarkatans were busted anyway, so who knows. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's see. Beers. Yeah, I mean beers, come on. All right, so where's where's our where's the dictionary here? Definitely isn't the most toned fighter on the roster, though he does all right, over 50, and still a ripper. Okay, that one, I understood that one. It's hot in Australia. Our summers regularly hit over 40 degrees Celsius, 104 Fahrenheit. Yep, I knew that one, too. Oh, it's at the bottom. Okay, cool. All right, let's take a look here. Ah, here we go. Ah, yeah, there it is. That's awesome. On your bike. <laughs> That's my favorite. Fuck off. You don't actually need to be referring to someone's physical bicycle for this to work. Yes. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that one I was so confused about. Best Chuck a Yui is usually in reference to a U-turn in a car, but also can be used to refer to a 180-degree turn. That makes sense. Again, Kano is basically telling someone to fuck off. <laughs> Related, doing donut in a car is called a doe Or Yeah, okay. Nice bit of Tucker. Tucker means food. I know very few city people who use that term. Kano eats a lizard when he says this, and I don't know any Australian who has ever eaten a lizard. Does a crocodile count? It tastes like chicken. Okay. Yeah, nice bit of Tucker. That one I actually knew. I don't know why, but I knew that. Don't be a bludger. Slang for a lazy person. Okay. Bludging might also mean skipping out on school or procrastinating. You hear a lot about bludging in this country. Okay, cool. You sound like a shithouse American tourist to Cassie Cage. <laughs> That's awesome. To Baraka, that's a bonza attitude. Bonza means good, okay. Split some stubbies. A stubby is a term for a small-sized bottle of beer as opposed to a long neck, okay. Well, the measurements differ by region, okay. And your blood's worth bottling. You're very special. Yeah, okay, that one's pretty easy. Let's give it a burl, okay. Give it a go. Former GameSpot employee said this quite regularly, and for a long time I thought he was just making words up. That's what it sounds like to me a lot of the time with Australian. We ain't here to fuck spiders. A turn of phrase that means you came here for a specific reason, not fucking around and not spider fucking naturally. That's gross. <laughs> That's great. To Jackson, asked about his first crime. I was an ankle biter, five or six. That means a child, yes. Everyone knows that one. Good luck with that, you drongo. Idiot or stupid person, as Mike said earlier, because he's amazing. Thank you, Mike. What a bunch of dills. Dill is Australian slang for idiot or stupid person. Again, there we go. Okay, cool. Back off, you ungrateful yabo, or is it yobo? Anyone know? Australian slang for idiot or stupid person. We have heaps, but usually a rude or particularly unsophisticated one. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, this is a good one too. The move list names. Spewing. If you can't believe something happened, I guess it also means vomiting. The combo string that involves Kano spitting... It's called spewing. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, fair suck of the sab. This one's like, what? Never heard anyone use seriously, but it means to have a fair go, and the sab refers to a sausage, which is a little gross. We also call sausages sausage sandwiches sangas. They are our national food, a staple at hardware stores, school vets, and polling places during government elections. Okay, so I'm thinking, you know, like a hot dog, right? Cut snake. It gets angry. A cut snake means angry. Don't cut a snake. Okay. Fig jam. Sure. Fig jam is actually an acronym for fuck I'm good, just ask me. Awesome. As immortalized in the hip-hop track of the same name by Australian group Butterfingers. Okay. Penal colony, right? Originally founded. That was Australia. Yes, we all know our history. Face like a dropped pie. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> Personal size meat pies are another iconic Australian food. Most people think the idea of meat in a pie is gross. Those people are wrong. I definitely do not think that is gross. Meat pies are incredible. 
Crash course in classic Australian rock. A number of Kano's equipable eye masks are actually classic Australia rock music references, and I was honestly getting when I saw some of these mentioned. Not familiar with one of the eras of music? MK11 is a great place to start. Follow the YouTube links for a good time. Hunters and Collectors, okay. Mental and everything. Laid back 80s pop rock band. Live it up, Midnight Oil. Bed Burner. Yeah, everyone knows beds are burning. Come on. Cold Chiseled, Mr. Dirty Deeds, ACDC, Cruel Sensation, Kill You Tonight, Eye Hooks. Okay. Left out a bunch of things, and there are certainly a few Kano reference in 11 that don't quite hit the mark, but man, going through them makes me so proud to be an Australian, happy to play as a genuine Australian character. Damn impressed by the effort, commitment, and execution of Dad Kano. It definitely feels like there were some bona fide Australians, maybe Queenslanders, High Mida Maroon State Color Outfits. Queensland location references. He worked hard to turn Kano into the lovable bogan, unrefined person. He is in Mortal Kombat 11. That or some really dedicated Americans did a lot of in-depth research and managed to pull it off with measured grace. Either way, good on ya. Kano is the best Australian to ever appear in a video game. Oh, the origin of his name? Okay, let's take, take a look at that. Kano, a cultural glossary. Kano, the name. I have no idea where series creators Ed Boon and John Tobias actually got the name Kano from. My best guess via Google is that Kano is a Japanese name that loosely translates to masculine power. And given that his original nationality was Japanese American, ah, I see. Checks out in Mortal Kombat 11. Kano is a pretty manly middle aged white man after all, but man, Kano works so well as an Aussie as hell Australian name. We like to truncate long words in Australia, but not only that. I'd like to add an O to the end of words, too. Avocado, avo. Liquor store, bottle-o. Gas station, servo. Hmm. Afternoon, arvo. I like that. I could go on forever. With Kano's retcon nationality, I can 100% believe that Kano is just an Australian nickname for something longer. What could that be? Kane, Caden, Caleb. It could be anything, but it works. Yeah, mate, Kano's gone to the servo to pick up some durries. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> All right, Dan, it was great to see you, too, man. You have a good one. Crystal is here. How's it doing? Good to see you, Crystal. What's up? So we're reading about Kano. Uh, someone over at GameSpot put together an entire article about Kano from MK11 to teach you a ton about Australia. Here's a, a copy of the link if you want to read it in your own time. It's amazing. Honestly, it's, it's incredible. I'm going to actually post this on my, my Twatter right now. I'm not gonna lie, I had many questions. Now I have less. Kano is amazing. Heart Australia. There we go. Praise the loaf? <laughs> All right, are we ready to get back to it? I think we're ready. Hey, look, it's Johnny and his perfectly, perfectly handsome face. Dude, Mike, thank you again so much for that. That's awesome. You're awesome. Thanks for sharing that with us. That was that was brilliant, as the uh, the Brits would say. All right. Let's get back to it. One more. Who's ready for some more Johnny Cage hotness? I'm ready. Honestly, after reading that, I want to play Kano even more now. <laughs> I know it's blasphemy, but it's okay. Lord Dan isn't here anymore. You can land the back to uh, F4 Nut Punch after the amp version of the Nut Punch. Nice. That one's hard. I, I still can't do it. He's still in the Kano waiting room. I'm sorry. That one's tough to do. How many? How much more damage do you get off of that? Off the uh, back to F4 compared to uh, the dash forward one to one shadow kick. I mean, I suppose you know you should always be going for the optimal move, right? But I can consistent, relatively consistently do the one to one shadow kick, so it's kind of probably better. 
just like God. All right. 300 plus, don't know right now exactly. Okay. So See, yeah, I think the um, Amp Nut Punch 1 to 1 Shadow Kick is 290 ish. Johnny Cage. Tank Garage Bunker. This is standing, like not in the corner, right? In the corner, it's close to 400. What? Okay, I need to practice that then. 40%. Holy crap. Do you have the um do you have the command list for that? Because we could practice that tonight. That might be good actually. Land to jump in too. Okay. I admire Sonya's strategic mind. It's not her mind you're admiring. It's true. That's from the movie. Wake up, nice. Alright, I should be pressing buttons. Is it X? Is X the button I press? Jump two, three, four, back down two, up down. Okay. Huh, okay. Personality of cardboard. Well, he's you know he's the he's the character of the of the story. So, but yes, I totally agree. Pretty boring. I mean, every you know every every game or like story has to have kind of like a good guy, right? And Liu Kang is definitely that one. Him and Kung Lao. They all can't be Johnny. I get that, but man. Yeah, well, you think about it like... Like, Sub-Zero isn't a good guy, right? I mean, he sort of is now. He originally wasn't, right? And he, you know, he's like the grandmaster of a monastery of fighting monks and shit. And then Scorpion is some weird hell demon human, but not human, but human who originally wanted severe revenge on Sub-Zero and then got it but didn't get it, right? So they have all these convoluted, crazy stories, right? You gotta have a couple of good guys, right? Totally botched it. Oh. Crystal, thank you so much. Yeah, let's uh we'll take it in the lab later and do a little practice. So we have Kung Mao's F4 Fatal Blitz exactly one more damage than the complicated two one two. Huh. Yeah, it is weird, the scaling, yeah. Oh, no, no charge. Oh. Ooh, pop him right out of it. Gotcha. It's good to be I'm getting better at that. I didn't think I was going to get better at it, but I finally started Final getting better at it. Could do it a lot quicker, but... 
actually won us two games tonight with the fake out. Ugh, I didn't wake up. Kung Lao style, skills bad. Does it really? Yeah, I guess he has a lot of hits, doesn't he? And that's kind of what that's based on, is his hit count, right? Got him. Maybe call it even the balancing, otherwise that's bullshit. Yeah. Kung Lao Revenge is F4, does more damage as a starter, as this 2-1-2. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... I think the scaling is not... It's probably based off of hit count, not damage, but I'm not sure. That's how it used to be in older, like in other fighting games. But, um... Yeah. Be something to look at. It's, it is very telegraphed. It also has no range. It does have hyper armor, but he is the only person in the game that can cancel it. I'll see if I can do it this round if I need to. It's, it's actually pretty cool because he's the only person that can do it. So it's, it works really good for faking your opponent out, which is really cool. But it's a little tricky to do. I should not look at chat when I'm trying to play against an opponent of equal skill like this. <laughs> oh well. Back in that corner. I have actually. There is um, a really funny uh, Terraria clip on my channel page actually that you should take a look at. You would laugh your butt off. It's in the clip section. Final. Can't throw most of the throw. Yep. 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 The throw is the best move for the post cancel. You go check it out right now, don't it? It's pretty short. You will laugh so hard though, I promise. Yeah, I I would I, I've I haven't played it very much, so I'm not like an expert or a veteran, but um I've enjoyed my time. It's fun. It's a good game. Nope, oh, that's game. Really, I didn't know that. Damn fireball combo, huh? That's awesome. Damn, those are good fights. Fatality. Liu Kang wins. I think on our end, a little more focus and we could have won it. Here's how they developed again and kept adding massive updates for completely free for eight years now. Yeah, well, I wonder do, have they been working on any other games or has it only been Terraria? Is that, you know, and I think they found, you know, the perfect price points like 20 bucks or 10 bucks or five bucks, right? And, People buy it all the time to send as a gift because it's so cheap and it's so good. And then those people just tell their friends and they tell their friends and they tell two friends and they tell two friends and so on and so on. If you do the one to one enemies airborne, cancel one to one and fireballs in combo with two, two one to one ender. Seriously? That's insane. Just Terraria. They canceled the spin-off sequel, but not sequel. Terraria Otherworld. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so I I actually really like Terraria. It's a, it's a really good game. My issue with it is the storage system. I just can't stand having to make multiple 
multiple scorpion treasure chests. And I know that's really lazy. Oh, first scorpion in the night. I know it's really lazy, but I just can't. I just really do not like that part of the game, especially after... Like, because I think I went from Fallout 4 to Terraria, and Fallout 4 was, you know, you have a treasure chest in, you know, all these different places, and it works universally for all of your stuff. Actual sequel Terraria 2 is still on. Nice. And Fireball is hard to get off. 370 damage. That's really good. Alright, here we go. First Scorpion of the night, folks. Not using wake ups. Oh, there it is. Feel my pain. Now the connection's really good for this. This is great. Round two. Fight. Raise the fact that you won't have a treasure for all your stuff or treasure room, you can put yeah. And I know that's a big part of like what people like. I just it just got it's got the inventory management got really tiring. The nice storage system. Yeah, I was looking at some mods for that because I was actually thinking about getting back into it. It's such a great game, I really like it. I've had, we've had some really fun streams of it too, especially because the Terraria community is so awesome. And uh, you know, whenever I would make a, um, you know, make a post, you know, like on on Twitch that I was doing Terraria, I would put it in the title that I was a complete newbie, and people would come in and be really nice and helpful and give great ideas and be supportive. And yeah, it was really, it was it was just a, an absolute blast. Thought he might fall for the third one. All right, I'm gonna focus because I want to beat the shit out of this scorpion player. <laughs> Sucker. Is there a pub nearby? Why? You thirsty? I could use a few pints. God, I love stomping on scorpion players. This is my new favorite thing. The ending's nice. <laughs> Thanks, Crystal. Thank you, Mike. You guys are awesome. Too bad we hadn't done it to him two other times. We could have gotten the mime time brutality, which is so good. I hate that they locked it behind doing mime time two other times. Yes, there is, and it's amazing. I don't know why they set it up with having to do it two other times during a match. They should, it should just be one. If you end a match with a mime time, you should be able to just get it. <laughs> Isn't that great, don't it? The TNT, yeah. Isn't that amazing? Even I sometimes go back and watch it and laugh my ass off. It's so fun. <laughs> All right, should we see if we can get a get a mime time on this guy? I think we might be able to do it. Oh, this is strange. I want to just click boom. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, I don't think he's going to fall for it. Yeah, all right. Sorry, guys. No mime time. I got to crush this idiot. 
It's fun playing with him, though. <laughs> That's right, that Drongo. My bad. Your wish is my command, Crystal. Spear or teleport? Alright, Donut, we'll see you later. You take care. Well, I think he's gonna win it. Oh shit. Forgot about that spinny move and how that works. Yeah, we should have just killed him in the first round. Oh well. Ooh, we did the cool fatality at least. Decent range, yeah. It's it's not bad. It's he's just he's kind of deceptive that way. I think a lot of people don't see it coming, especially his his bread and butter um, combo starter. You know, command input that forward three four four is the one where he does all the kicks. It actually gives him a really decent jump forward that a lot of people don't expect. Expect it has really good startup frames too. Back in the corner. Does he have meter? He has meter. Alright, let's see what he does. Really? Probably the only scorpion that doesn't use the wake up. There he is. Neutral job. There it is. Got him. Cut. Reset. Deadly uppercut. Yeah, that was that was pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good read. Who hired this guy? What the fuck? Thanks, Deadly Crystal. You're cut. awesome. <laughs> you guys are bad for my ego. This is not good. <laughs> you guys keep giving me all this praise and stuff. <laughs> Give me a really big and floated head, man. Infloated head? I just made up a word. Instead of inflated, it's infloated. <laughs> You're a Johnny player. Need a great eagle. Oh, oh, he left the game. Salt count. I think that's two. Two on the salt count.
one that one guy we played earlier with the filthy mouth on the microphone, man, that counts for like god salt count a hundred. Beating that guy was beautiful. Yeah, we got it on stream too. We have two weeks to get to Demigod. At this rate, we might actually be able to do it, but... Yuck. Oh my god, look at this. He's champion and going on master, so if he beats us, it's 150 points, but we lose 81. <laughs> Yikes. That's right, yeah, Crystal plays on PC. A lot of PC players in Zagopolis, and that's cool. I was, I'm was, honestly kind of surprised. I thought there would be more console players, but... Gunner, bass, or is it base? Suppose it could be either one. Also doesn't want to spend sixty bucks for MK and then PS Plus afterwards. Yeah, very reasonable. Johnny Cage. Collector player, awesome. Collector. Okay. I uh, I almost got this on PC because Green Man Gaming had the um, the premium edition. You know the you know the base game plus the DLC. You know permanent DLC like combat stuff. Like super on super mega discount, it was crazy. I almost got it, but it was on PC, and I knew that the community was bigger on console. Plus, Japan has weird lockouts for certain kinds of games, so I couldn't I couldn't do it. Really bummed me out. Shit. I'm in Germany, we could try it. Europe side of Russia, we could. Oh man, you guys should definitely play together. That'd be awesome. Wish I could play with you guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa! How did that happen? For forty euros, to say, yeah, like that's 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 crazy cheap. Oh, that'd be awesome. That'd be so much fun to play with you guys. I would love that. We could get a King of the Hill going or something. That'd be the best. Oh my god, that'd be so much fun. Yep. Uh, it's a it's a um, special confirm from the, the forward 344 string, which is his uh, kick, kicky one. Hey! Whiff, yep. Finish him. Well, they come back for five years instead of 25 or 30. Damn, Crystal, that's amazing. Okay, how do I get the windscreen where he has the little Johnny doll and he does the punches with it? I need it. Somebody tell me how to get that. I need it so bad. Okay, well, hey, hey, just because I can't, you know, play MK with you guys, we could all, we could be Steam friends. Guys, guys, don't leave me out. Got a picture of Killer Instinct Shadow Jago. Nice, nice. I uh, my buddy recommended that I buy it, buy Killer Instinct, because it was like you know, ten dollars on the uh, Microsoft Game Store or something. So I got it for PC. That game's awesome. I don't understand anything that I'm doing in it, but it's an amazing game. 
looks really good on that computer too, I'm not gonna lie. did it we actually did it <gasps> oh we did it in the game yes cage. That's right. <laughs> Johnny cage wins. that's so rare too I'm, I'm, I don't think I've ever done that in an online game yes if anybody wants to clip it clip it because that's a great one snap I'm not gonna lie that was awesome <laughs> You don't need to buy it. You can just test it out. It's free. Oh, really? After the tutorial, you just got Jago. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I like how they did that. They did free to play with a fighting game. I think that's really cool. I like Jago in that game, in that version too. He was pretty sweet. My uh, when Killer Instinct, the very first game, came out. You know, the original Killer Instinct. I played primarily Orchid. I was an Orchid player. And then Ki Two came out, and I really like Jago and uh, Ki Two. In the new one, the in the newest KI, I couldn't decide on somebody that I was really into because I, I used to really like Saber Wolf too, but I didn't care for his move set in the new one. Jago was pretty sweet. Didn't like Orchid anymore. Used to like Glacius. Didn't like him. I don't like him in that one. Who did I like? Oh, Fulgore. Fulgore was tight. Really enjoy KI, but the problem is it's fucking hard to get better. Man, that game is so complex. I don't understand anything that's going on in it at all. <laughs> but it was really pretty to look at, and the sound was amazing, and the graphics are amazing, and the music's amazing. And it they just did so many throwbacks to the original game and the second game, so it was like my childhood all condensed into one beautiful, beautiful piece of artwork and gaming. So I didn't really care that I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> Oh, really? Orchid had an infinite? I didn't know that. That's crazy. Guess wrong on the combo break, then yeah. Yeah, yeah. That w That's an interesting system. Okay, look at this. He gets plus 105 if he wins. I get minus 56 on a loss. That's unfortunate. Yeah, k -k 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 combo breaker! Yeah. And I love how they have all the... They even give you the option in the game, in the new game, to use the old voices for the um, ultra combo and all that stuff. That's so cool. That'd be a fun game to play on stream. What do you think? Should we play that sometime on stream? Play a little Killer Instinct? You guys can show me what to do. I don't think I could play online because no one would play against me because my rank is zero. But... Um, I have to remember what my Steam name is. One minute. Let me uh, see about beating this Baraka up. Dude, we never seen filter with chaos sounds. Oh my god, that's genius. Yep. I had a feeling you might do that. It's good to be king. Have an autograph. I'm Johnny Cage. Round two. Fight. Whoops, for some reason my my fireballs didn't pop out. Yep, I knew he'd do it again. Yep. And I should have guessed that he would have seen my neutral jump coming. 
That'd be fun, Crystal. That'd actually be really fun. I thought, I think KS is amazing. It's an amazing game. I just, it was so overwhelmed with the entire fighting game system. It's just like, holy crap, how does any of this work? <laughs> Yep, I'm gonna whiff, yep. Nope! Finish him. The old college knee to the rib cage works every time. Absolute noob, which doesn't do anything, or you get absolute beast, the game which does ultra combo. Yeah, so I think I, just for a laugh, I tried the online ranked, you know, being a complete newbie. And that's exactly what happened. The only person I got paired up with was some, like, you know, good gargantuan platinum diamond elder god tier, you know, super veteran. Versus me, the guy who had literally never played the game before. And of course, he just declined the match, you know. All right, we've got two mime times. Let's see if we can get a mime time brutality, huh? We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to whittle him way down, and try and keep our health high. Look at that damage. Charge it up. And pop him. Nope. Didn't go up. Okay. All right. We should just we should just win, but Well, y'all want uh, you know what? I just realized though that we have a win streak at stake, so screw that. A year ago, got some UK friend who did King of the Hill invited me. And holy shit, they tried to play softer, but I couldn't get anything off. <laughs> uh, what's for Good job, Mr. Cage. Thanks. Man, I'm really torn. I'm really torn. <laughs> oh goodness, oh Johnny. Johnny Cage wins. Johnny Cage. Yeah, we got two mime times off. I thought maybe we'd be able to do the brutality. Look at that. I only get 20 points for beating this guy, but I would have lost, like, what was it, 50? And he would have gained 150? I mean, it's fair. It's reasonable, but still. That guy was actually pretty good. I think he'll climb the ranks pretty quickly. Let's see if we can't get to a five-win streak, huh? What do you think? Yeah, what is my Steam name? It's something weird. I don't remember. It's not Zega or the Zega or anything. It's something completely different. 
Um, Matt the Gaw. Or is it Matthew Gaw? In the lab with Johnny, I wonder if they actually can land an F4 after jump through four. I don't know. Johnny Cage. Oh, damn it. There goes our streak. <laughs> Shang Tsung's island ruins. There goes our streak. Crap. Crystal, you're awesome. Thank you. So that positive attitude of yours just keeps me going. Round one. Fight. I guarantee you, we're gonna see a lot more Cetrion players after CEO, after uh, people people watching uh, Dragon play uh, against Sonic Fox. Frosty you the credit. Yeah, it was so amazing. God, watching Tweety do his thing. Holy crap. He was so good, too. God, it was just... It's just proof that the game is in pretty good shape. If the pro players can pick the, the dumpster tier characters, you know, that everyone says they're just unplayable and do as well as they did. I mean, obviously they're pros, so they're not like the rest of us, but still... Got her. Yeah, every character got picked up. Yep. And it wasn't full of scorpions either. I mean, that's crazy, right? There was, like, surprisingly good variety. Really? Out of range? I don't know about that, but all right. Unblockable. Ah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is going on here? Oh, what? Why did that happen? What? We were having a great game. Wow. Are you guys still here? Give me a test. If you can hear me, hit one, two, three. Sony character limit for service exceeded capacity. <laughs> yeah, are you guys still here? Set you on crash connection with her nonsense shit. <laughs> that was really weird. What the hell happened? Let me check my did my internet go to shit? Is that what happened? I hope not. Okay, OBS says we're still live, says we're still going. We're here and you're and you're here, everything's fine. Okay, huh. Well that yeah, that sucks. We were having a great game. Man. Alright, I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere.
All right, we're back. Maybe we got lucky and Cetrion got banished. <laughs> that would be amazing, huh? Yeah, I'm glad we did get to keep our streak too. That's pretty nice. The great Cetrion purge. <laughs> I love it. Uh, does anyone else here? If Shiggy is still here, I know Shiggy does. But uh, does anybody else play Cities Skylines? God, that game is good. Any other Cities players here? Because the uh, the new DLC came out, Campus. You know where you do university stuff for your city, which is really cool, and I really want to try it. Of course I do. God, Crystal, I just. Mm. We don't deserve you. Absolutely not. What is this connection? Oh, you stop it. You stop. St I told you. You, you got to be careful with that flattery, man. You just got to stop. Finally. Oh, it's Fumi. Okay. I don't remember what Fumi plays, though. Baraka. Right. Now I remember. Johnny Cage. Caron. Screen froze. Right on. Yeah, what other games do you guys play when you're not playing MK11? I mean, I know that's what, you know, brought you to me, which is awesome. I knew that a game about violence and murdering human beings could bring people together so well. But what else are you guys playing? I've been playing PoE. I've been playing the Legion League. I'm almost 90 on my Bladestorm Gladiator, which is pretty sweet. Round the occasional Overwatch, because no matter how long it's been, I still love that game. They buffed McCree. I don't know what they were thinking. I did not mean to do that. Not sure what happened there on that input. That was bad. Phoenix is here for Johnny Cage. Well, you are in the right place, my friend. How are you, Phoenix? Welcome. Follow four. Nice. I still need to beat that. <laughs> hey. 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 Pop it. Nice. Elder Scrolls, Scar Game, Sekiro, Overwatch. Oh, Sekiro, yes. Sekiro is so good. And you get um, two more endings in that, I think. Shit. Not good. TF2. Oh my god, I haven't played TF2 in so long, but god, what a great game. Like, try and tell me that the orange box wasn't the greatest gaming deal in gaming history. Tell me that it wasn't. Just try. Go ahead. I'll wait. He is. He literally is machine gun. And usually, you know, you lose damage with machine guns at range. Not agree. It's beautiful. Rocket League. That's a good game. Dota Fight Underlords. Fight. I I've never played Dota. I did play a lot of League though. And FK Phoenix, thank you so much, my friend. Welcome. Welcome to Zagopolis. Dropped it. Give us a hug. Huggy hugs. Shit. Hey! Hey! Alright. That went pretty well. Dropped a couple. Dropped a couple of combos, but we're doing alright. Is indeed welcome to Zangopolis, Phoenix. Thanks so much for that follow. Really appreciate it. Glad you're here.
Yeah, I love God. Like I was fine with McCree where he was before the buff, and now it's just like, jeez. Because McCree's my main in, in Overwatch. He's my favorite. Second only to Diva, because Diva is eternal. But. Okay, hey Baraka, buddy, can I can I press some buttons too? You have to share. That's what they taught us in kindergarten: is that sharing is caring and. Should we go for the fake out? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, got him. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Do I have to stop? You stop. Don't you love the fake out? That just won us around for like what the fourth time tonight. So good. I mean, in Overwatch, I can play, I can play anything. I mean, not like you know, like professional, like tournament level or anything. But I can play anything but the snipers. Like, you know, you, if you if you force me to play Widowmaker or like Hanzo, then you may as well just you know forfeit because I'm just dead weight. Say like watching my lost brother, that's awesome. <laughs> Only play Genji? Nice, Genji main. See again, this is look at this damage. This is what I get for, you know. This is what happens when I look at chat when I'm playing, but it's okay. I'm not too worried about this guy. <laughs> Besides, I wanna interact with you guys, you guys are my friends. I wanna I wanna talk to you. Oh. Okay. okay, mine are better. Drop it. Give us a hug. I think we might have to shove a microphone down his throat. What do you think? Finish him. Puppets. Whoops. Oh, screwed it up. Probably thought I was teabagging, that wasn't good. Agree, Hanzo and Russian frontline tank. Um, 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 oh my god, see, now that you don't say the name, and I'm like, wait, what is it? <laughs> Not Symmetra, that's the, the sentry and force field lady. The Russian, the, the Russian one, with the black cult. Zarya, thank you, Cat and Jack Pack, thank you. I knew you'd be on top of that. Thank you so much. Gravitated the hit scans. Ooh, look at this connection. Who's this? Freezy J. I don't think I've ever played this person. Ash McCree, been playing Batista. Yeah, Batista is cool. I like his kit. It's interesting. Johnny it's. It, I'm a little worried with Batista Baraka. because it's. I'm starting to see League of Legends in him that like. League of Legends started suffering from every new character that they introduced to the game had like, excuse me, super, super really complex um, skills and like these weird interactions and full of passives. And I think Batiste has that too with his skills and whatnot. Because if you look at him versus some of the other characters that like originally came out, they're pretty basic. So, Cage Con doesn't exist yeah, without I hope it doesn't get too out of control. But he's, he's an awesome character. Where are your weapons? My body is my weapon, Fang Face. Ah, then you fight unarmed. Round one. Yeah, literally, fight. that's that's literally what what he just said, isn't it?
Got him. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Round two. This guy really loves his projectiles. He seems kind of useless without them. One more. You're not going to win the projectile fight. Finish him. Johnny Cage wins. Playing in the lab with the block mode all. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Round one. Fight. Yep, knew it was gonna whiff. I hate that. Have we figured out what causes that? Because it's it's kind of inconsistent. You can usually tell when it's gonna happen. But usually not fast enough to react to it by doing flippy kick instead. You know what I mean? Jesus, dude, would you calm down with our projectiles already? Ah. And again, Fatal Blow Fake Out wins us around. Always do Ender. Yeah. I mean, it's good. Like, I mean, there's no... There's not, there's not a reason not to, except you're going for the corner push, right? Like you're trying to do the carry. Shit. I like to jump a lot, too. Yep. Ah, damn it. I thought he would wake up with it. He's in closer. It's easy to... That's actually... Phoenix, that's a very good point. Good call. Final yeah, that's a good call. Fight. This guy doesn't seem to do very well, like, comparatively, at closer range. Oh, he dropped it. Right, Shadow Kick does a little more damage, yeah. Yeah, I like it. I like to try and get... you. I got myself in the habit of always using Shadow Kick so that I could um, do the corn, push him for the corner. But yeah, Flippy Kick definitely has its has its uses, absolutely, without question. That's that's And that's a smart move, too. Like, I didn't think of that, is that if you're playing against a zoner and you can land a combo, you shouldn't... Maybe you shouldn't end it with the corner carry with the Shadow Kick... If you're playing against a zone or like say like if you're playing against Jade or Cetrion or Scarlet, you should just do flippy kicking and keep them close. If you're not gonna get him to the corner with a shadow kick. That's a really good point. Johnny needs a brute with a shadow kick where he kicks the chest away. I agree. Tonight. 
So, like, like I've said, you know, like we keep talking about, Johnny just needs the tiniest little bit of adjustments, and then he's good to go. Oh, it's Apex! What up, Apex? Oh, he's, he's climbing. Apex is a Jade player, I think? I don't remember. Jade. Yep. Johnny Cage. Goro's Lair. So, speaking as owners. I'm not going to lie, if I land a mid screen combo, I'll probably still do Shadow Kick just because it's burned into my muscle memory, but we'll see what happens. KB rework, and then he'd be perfect. Yep. Fix the hitboxes and do a little bit of KB rework. Good to go. Also, make the mime time brutality uh, if it's the last hit in the round. That's all I need. The fact that we have to do it two other times first is silly. So as we all know, this is Johnny's worst matchup. Dude, I know it's such a good brute. Start as mid probably won't happen. Yeah, I think it's I think eh, it's a tough one. Scarlet the most. Yep. Ah, oh, I thought we'd maybe get a flawless. Oh well. Finish her. I know, it's the best Jade skin, I agree. One of the best. The thing about Jade is pretty much all of her skins are incredible. Look at all these hearts we have, and there's nothing we can spend them on. 3,100 hearts. As far as I know, we got all the heart Round chests. One, fight. Throw it back. Whoa. I don't think that's on my end. Oh my god. I better not lose because of this shit. I'm going to be really mad. Better keep my streak going. Wow. That's messed up. We were putting this guy in a body bag. Super reverse turbo MK12. Yes. <laughs> Jade purge. Yeah. God damn it. And that doesn't count towards a win either. We should be on a six win streak after that because we fucking dumpstered that player. God damn it. That really pisses me off. Did we gain points? I know we didn't lose any. Did we gain any? Absolutely not.
Man, that's really upsetting. Oh, well. Gotta move on. Let's get a new game going. Breezy J again. All right. Johnny Cage. Is this the Scorpion player? Oh, it was Baraka. Baraka. Must be Special running out of uh, must be running out of people to play against at this time of night or something in the region. I don't know. As we all know, there's just not a lot of not all that many Mortal Kombat players in Asia, despite the fact that MK11 is absolutely terrific. Let's see. I am thinking about taking my PS4 with me to the United States when I go on vacation. You guys think about that. So we could have some we can do some streams from the US of A. It'll be in a really weird time slot. Look at that. Get him back in that corner. And again, the fake guy wins around. He is adapted. He's like the Borg. We are the Borg. Round one, fight. Jesus. Okay, all of a sudden, I'm not really sure what to do against this guy. <laughs> Wow, this guy just tore me apart. That's crazy. Oh, brutal. Brutality. 
Wow. That was insane. So we got his rank up. How many points? We lost 33. Okay, that's doable. Well, grats on your rank up, friend. Jeez. That Baraka, man. We did pretty good against them originally when we played him tonight. And then all of a sudden, he, I think he figured out all of our tricks. Just like that. <clears throat> oh, and there goes our streak, too. Oh, well. See if we can get another one. All right, joining match. Hopefully, a good connection. That Asian gamer. Pretty sure we've played this person before. The name sounds familiar. Johnny Cage. Liu Kang. Mm hmm. Kotal's Coliseum. Page six. Round one. Fight. Yep. I uh, thought I might whiff, but it didn't. Kind of surprised. Good solid beating on that one. Beat me to it. Okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Love that face. It's the face of victory right there, folks. Page 62, Johnny King. All right. Fight. Next set. Let's party. Oh, didn't need to do that. Oh. Got the corner. Oops, dropped it. <laughs> got one. Um, actually, that's a good question. Some, I, th I think so. I'm not 100% that 100% on that though. We should look it up. Sometimes I feel like it's gotten punished, and sometimes it's not. One thing they can do though, if they duck the first parts of the string is they can just neutral duck and and then uh, like down one punish
Damn it. I'm trying to get a brutality for you guys. <laughs> I really shouldn't, but... Oh well, we got the win. Cut. Reset. Deadly uppercut take two. Yeah. Action. See, and that's the problem with the brutality is you have to do it. You have to do it twice, and then win the match with it as a third one. And they're all, they're gonna be seeing it coming. It's stupid. Johnny Cage wins. Just make it so it only takes one. America. Freedom. Yeah, I think they, I think, I mean, I can understand that, you know, certain brutalities that, excuse me, the idea is to give it extra swag power, right? We're like, holy shit, he actually did this in a ranked game. That's amazing. And that's cool. Like, you know, especially like the brutalities that require a mercy or something. But, you know, some of the brutalities are just hidden behind stupid requirements. They're never going to get used. And that's a shame, because people like br the brutalities, I think, more than the fatalities in this game. I mean, the fatalities are also amazing, but... The brutalities are so cool, because they, they seem to start suddenly, like, pop out of nowhere. Yeah, the whirlwind, yeah, yeah, that one's so cool. I saw one of the Scarlets for the first time today on the internet. It was so cool. Was the uh, the blood ball one that was badass? It was what, what? What was the name of it? It said like Scorpion pulls himself into his own death because Scorpion was like it basically like punch him in the face and die level of hit points. And Scarlet, of course, was playing at range and shot the blood ball, but he managed to get a spear out. So the spear hit her and pulled her to him, but the blood ball also hit at the perfect moment and got the brutality and he exploded right as she passed through him. It was amazing. Three whirlwinds in the finishing game and they have to die via whirlwind. Yep, see? All these all these cool brutalities going to waste. It's too bad. Absolutely not. <clears throat> yeah, that's cool. Pretty cool brutality. Do you think do you think they're gonna be nice to us and put stage stage fatalities in? Because I really want those. I want those so bad. Here we go. In the crypt, though. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, let's say what? What do you think? They might be like an unlockable or something? Johnny Cage. Sonya Blade. Shinnok's Bone Temple. Right, just the one stage. Was it, Mike, was it you that showed me that one? That one was cool. That was you, right? The, uh, the desert one. It's nuts, but unlockables. Yeah, there's so much. It's crazy. I think it's cool, though. I'm actually totally fine with it because you get such a solid roster, and the unlock up unlockables gives you a lot of fun content and cool things to do. And I, I don't mind it. in that corner. Crystal's back. Nope, you can say yeah all you like. It's 
See, the fact that Johnny misses his force balls on female character hitboxes is absolutely stupid. I don't know how that could possibly justify it. Because, like, I'm completely missing weapons from my arsenal, not being able to do that. That's what she said! <laughs> Wow, okay, that's interesting. All right, time to get serious. That was bad. That was like really, really bad on my part. <laughs> I should focus. What? Oh, come on. Shit. Yep, I deserve that. Gotcha. Hard to beat his own wife, yeah. Round two, fight. Whoops! Not sure why that happened. <laughs> Balanced character, yeah. Crypt looks amazing. Yeah, it does. It looks so good. It's amazing how well it's animated. <clears throat> Bring it back. Thanks, Crystal. That's a good matchup. It's a good player. Gotta be on my toes here. No shit. That's not good. Luckily, the cage rage is working, so we're going to keep doing it. Damn it. 
Jesus. Just wrapping up. Sonya from the movie? Fight. Uh, might be. Wow. I want to talk about bullshit. Okay. That was um, really unfortunate. But well played. Yep, good mix ups. Very well played. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> but well played. Fatality. Good player. Sonya Blade wins. A little bit of salt there, but it's cool. We're going to keep going. God, we lose 75 points for that. Fuck. Oh, I missed it. I didn't see it. Hang on. I can look at the stream. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it definitely looks a lot more like the movie. Yeah. It's interesting. Interesting art. It's very different. Yeah, it looks a lot more like the actress that was in the movie. Whose name I don't recall, unfortunately. But... <clears throat> Tom Hero. Whoa. Demigod going on God? Oh, my lord. Yikes. That's kind of scary. Do you think it's a Scorpion player? Johnny Cage. Oh, boy. Here we go. Lost Hive of the Kaitin. Stand down. Another stone, yeah, huh? Haven't played any, and then all of a sudden we're playing two in a row. It's crazy. Round one. You gotta take your mother in line with you. <laughs> Is that bad? Do we not like that? Set. Round two. Fight. Ah, that one I can relate to. Alright. That was good for set. Six seven, yeah, I know exactly what that's like. I have family members that are the same way. Exactly the same. It's the worst. I hate that. Especially for me. Because I, I get mine done in, you know, what would take an average person 20 minutes to do. It takes me 5 to 10, and then I'm done. <laughs> like, in and out, boom.
Yep. Shit. Dropped it. I'm dropping my shit. Maybe could have pulled a win out if I hadn't. Alright, I'm gonna focus up here. Round two. Jesus. I wish we had mix-ups like that. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> and we do, but not as good as that. We that that's Round yikes. One. Hey James! Fight. Hey, Invader X9, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, citizen. No, I did not see Embat. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I watched a lot of CEO. Pretty much watched most of it. It was amazing. God, it was so good. That was like stupid good. Combat was so incredible. Ah, it means combat. Got it. Yes, yes, I did. It was so inspirational to watch that man play. Oh my God, his Johnny is so good. That's amazing. And we already played nothing but Johnny, but then you watch Combat do it at CEO and it just makes you want to play Johnny even more. It's so good. God, what is with these connections? Come on, guys. Help me out here. Just got to take the cable and connect it directly to the modem. And then things will be a lot better, I promise. He has a overhead, which is the um, same overhead that everybody has. It's the hop, hop two. Basically, it's basically no, he doesn't. Yeah, which is really, really, really rough. That's one of the reasons that um, people have, uh, you know, don't like Sonia, like sort of as a complaint, because she has all of these crazy strings and combos and mix-ups and stuff, including an overhead. And then you have someone like Johnny who doesn't even have one. He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't have an overhead as part of any of his strings, so. Most, a lot of the cast doesn't, and that's why people don't like Sonya, because she does. She basically, she, Sonya basically has everything, right? So, like, Liu Kang doesn't have one. Um, Katana's got the one, right, that she can do the, um, the crushing blow off of, which is cool. But I don't think Kung Lao has one. Johnny doesn't have one. As far as I know, maybe Jackie doesn't have one. 
Johnny Cage. So like all of these characters that are supposed to be brawlers and up close characters don't have overheads and so they are kind of crappy because they don't. But then they give characters like Sonya one as part of her normal strings and it's really weird. And so I don't know as far as balance goes people are sort of confused sometimes but Lao, noob, lol. Round 1. I think he's gonna go for it. Ah, oh, should have up two instead, or up three. Round two, fight. So let's run, run it back. Round one, fight. Uh, that is a great question, James. I don't know. I kind of feel like they don't, because I feel like um, like Kano's. Kano's startup frames for his throws are a lot faster than uh, some of the other characters. That's bullshit. That's complete bullshit. I can't believe it. Fucking down two, man. 10 frame universal. Is it really? Huh. Because, like, Kanos feels really quick. Back in the corner.
come. Run it back. Liu Kang and Johnny, probably the most even match in the game. Just straight up. And Liu's got some crushing blows. So that gives him gives him some nice advantage. But other than that, it's pretty straight up. Which is good. Contest, yeah. <laughs> Take out wins it again. Round two, fight. Look at this. 584. Beautiful. Yep, 6% almost. Yep. GG. What did you do, Johnny? Just what you asked. Not what I meant by the split. Fatality. Johnny Cage wins. No chance against Cage, the new Earth Realm defender. Aww. <laughs> well, I think we, I think the big thing that we learned from tonight's stream, uh, for whatever reason, I, I don't know why, but I've just been, I was on fire all night about the fatal blow canceling. Those literally won us the games. Like, if we... I don't know how many games we played tonight, but let's let's just pick a number random. Let's say we played 20 games. We won probably half of those games because of the Fatal Blow cancel, because they didn't see it coming. So, for those of you out there that are watching, if you are tuning in and you're watching because you're interested in playing Johnny, once you've mastered the bread and butter combos and sort of the basics, you know, his really good strong basics, his fundamentals, his neutral game and all that stuff. If you're like me, who up and basically until today wasn't doing the fatal blow cancel, if you're not winning games as Johnny and you've got all the basics down, that's what you're missing. That's to me that's the proof today. I don't think we would have gotten anywhere near as far into Grandmaster as we did today if we didn't have that cuz those won us the games. Yeah. I need to go to the lab for combos. <laughs> Thanks, Crystal. No, we still need to do that. We still need to do it. We're just not going to do it today. But yeah, so if if it was you know if you're out there and you're thinking about playing Johnny, that is like it's the, one of the biggest keys of his kit. No one else can do it in the game. So learn how to do it. Get in the lab and practice it. Figure out how to do the strings and cancel and really screw with your opponent's heads. And that they will win you games. It will like just propel you into higher levels and higher rankings and stuff. I'm I'm like really I'm like really excited right now. I'm kind of I kind of feel like that having mastered that has actually re reignited my love for the game and the and the um, character. Yeah, and thank you Crystal for whispering me the combos. Thank you so much. Of course, of course. <laughs> Give Kano a cancel. I don't know. His fatal blow is pretty good already, so I don't know. Anyway, um, my friends, it is that time of our evening where we say good night and thank you for watching. And th seriously, thank you everyone for coming by tonight and watching and be a part of being a part of Zagopolis and 
tonight's shenanigans. I had a fucking blast, as I always do, because you guys, you guys make it an amazing experience, so. Captain Jack back, thank you. You take care, too. Crystal, take care. Mike, take care. Everybody, James, take care. Everybody that's here, thank you so much. Donut's not here, but Donut, thank you for the sub. Um, and thank you for all the follows and, and just being here and hanging out with me and spend, choosing to spend your time with me. I'm, I'm honored and flattered, and I, I hope you all had fun because I had a great day. Have a good rest day. It was fun to watch again, likewise. Hey, thank you, friends. Thank you. So we're going to uh, we're gonna go ahead and host, and I think we're going to go host Dave again. Very Dave. Uh, he is currently playing the new Final Fantasy expansion, and like me, like I've said before, he is a, um, or at least he was, I don't know if he still is, but uh, former uh, expat living in Japan, so it's kind of cool. Anyway, you guys go check out his stuff. It's a, he's an amazing guy, super nice dude, and have a great night. So thanks again for watching, everybody, and take care. Good night. <laughs>